morning. Margot is stressed off her box, aren't you? Why are you stressed? Why are you stressed, Tiny? I'm stressed because there are men here dealing with the oil tank and there's three of them and I want to eat them before they eat you, Mummy. Margot, you do know that you are a very tiny dog and that they could fit you into one of their shoes. Yes. And I don't need protecting. They are here to do a job. Yes. It's okay. Silly poodle. Silly poodle. I'm doing the raffle numbers. I'm doing it in slightly a different way this time. Normally, the ways that I've run it before, you couldn't really print it out as such it was a bit complicated but because of because paypal are doing a different way to fundraise you can you can do it but it does mean that i still have to manually allocate the tickets which always makes my brain burp because when let's say toby bought five pounds worth i give him tickets one two three four and five and then say if Margot bought five pounds worth, in my head, I think I've got to give her from five to 10. But obviously ticket number five is already in Toby's wallet. So it's ticket six to 10, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So he's got five tickets. But when it comes to writing down the numbers, I have to check myself. I have to make sure that I'm not allocating two tickets like two number five tickets haven't so far made a mistake um that i haven't noticed i am um, i always i always get the totals correct but <laughs> it does give me a bit of a tummy ache because i just want to do it right i don't want there to be a mistake and i keep everything i keep all my paperwork and all my videos of doing the live drawers and what have you because um if ever anybody would like to check what i've done they're very welcome to or even if they just want to see how have i done it so that they can do it too that's a load of waffle in it i'm going to pottery in a minute and i'm going to the tile shop i need to buy eight square meters of tiles we've We've mulled it over, chewed it and chewed it and chewed it. And the temptation is to do something kind of exciting and stretch our designery skills because it's a small area and we don't have to live in there permanently. But at the same time, we want to do it up, do it really well and then not have to do it again, apart from general maintenance and upkeep. So we've decided to go for a very traditional white beveled edge metro tile because they have not been out of fashion since the 20s. A bit boring, but we can shush it up with other things. So I'm going to go and pick those up. The good thing about that is they're only £20 per square metre rather than all of the gorgeous... Oh, I was looking at Carrera marble which only takes a cleaner who's got um, a bit of a fascination with Sillet Bang to ruin. <laughs> when I say cleaner, I mean whoever's cleaning off, up after themselves. Um, and you can't use natural cleaners that have vinegar or citric acid in them, lemon juice or anything. So uh, we're just gonna go for the ceramic white Metro tiles. <clears throat> Safe but boring and beautiful, obviously. had a couple of people, two people, saying that they wished shared my stew recipe from Sunday night. I don't really follow recipes anymore. I tend to look at them for a bit of a guide. So for my stew, all I did was get stew and steak. And I don't even brown things off, not if it's gonna be done low and slow. The flavours all 
come together anyway. So I flung in, what did I fling in? Stew and steak, garlic, stock. It was my turkey stock from Christmas. Um, some herbs, onions, bay leaf. I did fry up some bacon. What else went in there? Red wine. Carrots. I put Jerusalem artichokes in this time because some came in the veg box. We were all farting <laughs> like mad. Rachel and I went on a walk with the dog on Monday while the boys were off, while Toby and James were off doing their motorsport thing. Honestly, I was jet propelled. <laughs> was, I said, I've got a bit of a problem, Rachel. And yes, Rachel is my friend who got squashed by the horse and had to have her pelvis reconstructed with um, metal frame. She's amazing. She's absolutely amazing. They said it would be a two year recovery. She was on her feet walking and everything in six months. She was absolutely amazing. But she is getting a few problems now. Her feet turn out too much, which makes her waddle and gives her pain in her back. But also she had this weird problem afterwards. I, I went to see her and she, the night before we were texting, she she couldn't wait. She was excited. She was going to be going home the day after. I said, "Look, I'm going to I'm going to wash your hair. We'll curl it for you. I'll paint your nails. Give you a little bit of a pamper. Make you feel real fresh and lovely. Ready to go home." And I got there, and she was just in a mess. Her eyes were rolling. She was shaking. She was. She had a temperature. She was all over the place. Anyway, they now think that she might have had a stroke. But she's brilliant. She is brilliant. Um, what else can I tell you? What else was going? What else did I put in my stew? Have I forgotten anything? What else goes in a stew? And that was it. Oh, flour! I sprinkled some flour in on the onions and the meat. Yeah, wine stock. I think that was it. Usually, I put mushrooms in, but James is allergic. And I think um, having the Jerusalem artichokes was, was bad enough. If I'd put mushrooms in, he would never have got off the pot. <laughs> from Top's Tiles, I've walked the dog, I've had some lunch, I've put the recycling out and found a parcel in the shed. It's from one of the mums that I was helping do, I was doing the lifts, bringing her boy home each day last week and a couple of weeks before. You should see what's in here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hot chocolate bombs. Cocoa it's chocolate wafer rounds. Ooh, bay tree boxes. That's who makes it. And they're a local company, they're just down the road. Western Supermare. Lemon zest shortbread rounds. Yummy. Oh. Absolutely brilliant. Totally not necessary. It was a pleasure to help out, but how nice. Ooh, I'm going to have a coffee and a chocolate wafer round, I think. Since the second my alarm went off this morning, I have been dreaming about this moment of getting in this bed. I've got a stash tea. I think it's warm orange and ginger or something. And, uh, oh, I can't wait to get him here. Where's my knitting though? What have I done with it? Oh, I've left it downstairs. There it is. And there's my body warmer from 
pottery. And there's a pile of laundry. <laughs> Come on then, poodle. Get yourself comfortable. Oh, I'm sinking. Settle in. Right. I've had a shower, so I'm not going to show you my face. Um, but I want to quickly, and I shall put a photograph in here now, tell you about my chum, Nancy's pattern that she has published today. Um, proceeds will be going to Alzheimer's Society. Hello, it's me from tomorrow. The last bit of yesterday's video was such a roaring shambles that I decided that I would get rid of that and tell you now. This will probably be a roaring shambles too. I'll tell you now all of the things I wanted to say yesterday. Nancy's pattern, all proceeds this week goes to Alzheimer's Society which is a charity close to her heart because her grandpa Leo had Alzheimer's and in the 80s when he he had regressed so much that he was only able to communicate in the language of his childhood which was German and Nancy took German at school and at university so that she could go and sit with him and chat to him in his own language and although he didn't know who she was she had that connection with him because she knew who he was which just I found it so touching when she told me. She's given me a copy of the pattern for myself and I, I won't be casting it on yet because I've got my test knit that I'm doing really slow work on but I will be casting on those socks probably with some of my lay family yarn spoils I got from the retreat last year um maybe that chartreuse color that would look so nice wouldn't it oh I also want to do the Stella and Jeff sock from Bexy Norms because I've got the Jeff colorway Excuse me, that would look so good. Oh, I've gone off on a tangent. Yes, um, and also Nayley, Nayley, Nancy has given me a copy of a pattern to give away. So what I need you to do is I need you to go over to her pattern on Ravelry and click the heart button so you put it in the favorites that will help her get a bit more exposure on the hot what's hot right now page on Ravelry um, which will help her sales which will help her charity walkie <laughs> that's gonna look even more weird isn't it we're back in a minute absolutely massive car park here with loads and loads of spaces and he's decided to park right next to me i'm just going to pretend that i'm on the phone to somebody so as long as he can't see my screen he don't need to know as i was saying go and click the heart the favorites on nancy's pattern and then below this video in the comments I would like you to leave a comment saying let me think you need to say I heart Nancy's socks okay so I heart h-e-a-r-t not the emoji Nancy's socks I'll put it on the screen. That's what I need you to say. If you want to be in with a chance of winning, free of charge, these socks. If you're not a Ravelry user, don't worry too much. If you win the socks, um, I'm sure Nancy will email them to you. Right, see you tomorrow, which is actually today. Bye.